love driving above all else? Then join us for a high-octane adventure along our most iconic roads. Drive TV puts Australia's top automotive journalists behind the wheel of the world's most interesting cars and sends them on the scenic route to destinations unknown. From smooth stretches of blacktop in a stylish sedan, snaking dirt tracks in a sports ute or star-studded SUV adventures, we're on a mission to find you the perfect car for the perfect road trip. And with the way we move changing by the minute, we'll make sure you're plugged in to the new world of electric and hybrid vehicles. It promises to be an awe-inspiring journey with plenty of fun to be had along the way. Take the road less travelled, meet charming characters and discover breathtaking locations and let us introduce you to the cars, all while celebrating what's so special about the great Australian road trip. So, jump in and buckle up. It's time for a drive. this road for about 30 minutes now. Golly gee, everybody, look at that. This week on Drive, Trent gets his hands on Land Rover's iconic reworked Defender. He takes a shortcut to the beach to watch an epic East Coast Australian sunrise. And what better way to get there than in a car that's just as suited to the busy streets as it is off-road. We start our drive today in Armidale and to get to this iconic inland town, it's a scenic five to five and a half hour drive from Sydney that's as enjoyable as it is easy. Armidale is one of the most iconic inland towns in Australia and it's the starting point for our journey today. But we're not heading north or south as you might expect and we're not going further inland either. We're going to head east we're chasing one of those iconic sunrises on the east coast of Australia that you can only get on that side of this incredible continent. We've got a road in mind that's gonna take us through the farming heartland of this region, and it's a road you've probably never seen on a map. I'll give you one other tip as well. It's a road that your clever satellite navigation system is almost certainly gonna direct you away from. Our weapon of choice for this trip is the 2022 Land Rover Defender 110SE D300. It has a 3-litre Ingenium twin-turbo inline six-cylinder diesel engine, an eight-speed automatic transmission and, of course, all-wheel drive. 220 kilowatts at 4,000 RPM and 650 newton metres between 1,500 and 2,500 RPM are more than enough power and torque to get this job done easily. 0 to 100 kilometres comes up in just 7 seconds and the fuel economy on the combined cycle is just 7.9 litres per 100 kilometres. You will use a little bit more than that when you're crawling around slowly off-road. Don't go anywhere because after the break we make our way from Armidale towards the Australian East Coast. Our destination for this trip is a secluded East Coast beach where we're looking for one of those picture-perfect postcard sunrises. Welcome back. We're on the road from Armidale to Kempsey. Trent's behind the wheel of the new Land Rover Defender, bound for the East Coast. Armidale is actually a thousand metres above sea level and despite the fact that it feels like an isolated rural community, 
It's actually not that far from the coast as the crow flies. We've only spent one night here on this trip, but I'd encourage you to come out here and spend a little bit longer. There's fantastic restaurants, some great country pubs, plenty of good little coffee shops, and there's a lot to see. There's museums, there's plenty of history out here, early settlement of Australia, indigenous culture. It's one of those towns that really does reward the longer that you spend here. Armadale's fertile surrounds were favoured by traditional indigenous landowners for its rich soil and proximity to water. British pastoralists first came to the area in the early 1830s following the earlier exploration of the area by John Oxley. The road we're using today starts as the Kempsey Road and then becomes the Armadale Road and it is historically significant for this area. It was originally cut through the bush to get from Armadale to the coast as quickly as possible and while there are faster ways to get there now, thanks to new sealed roads of course, this is still the most interesting way to get from west to east. When you head off on what we'd call a great drive, there are two key components. One is obviously the roads that you're going to drive on and the other component that is key to a great drive is the vehicle that you're taking. Of course, it doesn't always have to be a four wheel drive, but in the case of the Land Rover Defender and this kind of drive, we think it's the ideal vehicle. There's a reason for that. It's the way that it transitions from city to country, from road to off road, and it does so effortlessly. Cruising down these country roads on the way into and out of Armadale, this thing just eats up the kilometres. It's incredibly comfortable, it's well insulated, it's a very luxurious cabin to spend time in and you just while away the hours covering the distance without even realising how far you've travelled. And crucially, when you transition to off-road, few, if any, four-wheel drives make that transition from on-road refinement to off-road capability as effortlessly as the Land Rover Defender. The new Land Rover Defender is a quantum leap forward from the old model, which had soldiered on, largely unchanged for decades. The predecessor was an iconic, rugged four-wheel drive, steeped in heritage and tradition, but it was also limited in terms of passenger comfort and day-to-day -day practicality. However, the new Defender is a far more practical four-wheel drive, offering everything a modern buyer expects, including up-to-date technology and infotainment. It's now a safe, tech-savvy vehicle for busy city streets, with all the rugged terrain capability you would expect from an off-road icon. New Defender loses the tight, confined cabin of the old model and the agricultural feel, which, to be fair, hardened Defender owners love. In their place, though, you'll find a more modern, spacious, luxury interior befitting a large four-wheel drive while still retaining the tried-and-true all-round ability of the Defender badge. It really is like stepping out of a tractor into a sports car. Trent's taken the road less travelled, driving from Armadale to the east coast via Kempsey and having plenty of fun along the way in the new Land Rover Defender. Trent's on a mission to find the perfect place to play off-road. But when I lean for the kiss, you said I'll probably send you some pics. And I'm like, hell no, nah, been waiting too long. This is it, this is the road we've been looking for. It's called Kempsey Road. We've headed about an hour out of Armadale. We've turned right at Wollamombi and ahead of us, we've got 140 kilometres of twisty gravel road. That sounds like the recipe for a great drive to us. Let's hit it. Land Rover tells us that they want to make four-wheel driving more accessible for more people 
And as such, the Defender's got all sorts of clever technology that makes it easier for you to head off road, whether you're an expert or not. Now the Ace up its sleeve, I think, the most visible piece of tech from the outside is the height adjustable suspension, which makes it a lot easier when you go off road simply because it gives you more ground clearance. I've got it in the highest setting here and you can see that there is a big gap there between the tyre and the top of the guard. So things like crawling over rocks off road, river crossings, that kind of stuff, a lot easier when you've got it jacked up like this. The other trick up its sleeve, when you get back onto the sealed surface, you drop it back down and it handles more like a car. This is a beautiful road with views to each side and there's plenty of people out cruising around camping and just scenic touring as well. The Defender, it's the perfect vehicle for this road because while the river crossings are low and it hasn't rained up here for the last couple of weeks so the tracks are quite dry, it takes it all in its stride and it does it really easily. Now, people buy luxury dive watches that won't ever see a drop of water, but they want to know what their watch is capable of. The Land Rover Defender is in some ways the Swiss watch of off-roaders. It's capable of serious off-road performance, whether you choose to use it or not. And we're not using it on this trip, but that doesn't mean if you head up here when there's been some rain, you won't need serious off-road capability. One of the benefits of a great drive being off the beaten track like this one is, is the opportunity to do a little bit of four-wheel driving if you want to. And that's another reason that we talk about the Defender being such a good choice for a trip like this. It has so much off-road technology that makes it easy for you as the driver, whether you're a novice or not. Now, this is not a particularly difficult little hill that we're driving down, but it is scrabbly and it is loose. You've got driving modes, you've got monitoring of the vehicle that you can do through the screen here, and it's incredibly safe. You feel like you're always safe, you're always in a position where you know what you're doing behind the wheel, and that's important for people who don't go off-roading all the time. There's a few reasons that the Defender is as easy to drive off-road as it is, two of which are the diesel engine and the automatic transmission. They're both fantastic. Now, climbing our way back out of this little challenge here, we're gonna get a wheel in the ground, and that's not really any sweat at all. As you can see, I kept my foot on the accelerator and I just let the traction control do all the work and it's just so easy. And if you're worried about scratching your expensive Defender, well, you don't even have to sweat that either because Land Rover has set up this very, very clever camera system and I've got it active now on the screen where you can see exactly where the corners of the vehicle are so you know where you're positioning it and keep it away from branches and trees. After the break, we make our way towards the Australian East Coast, having plenty of fun along the way in the new Land Rover Defender. Welcome back. We're on the road from Armadale to Kempsey, Trent's behind the wheel of the brand new Land Rover Defender. Stunning views, great driving roads and a great car. We're on the unsealed part of the drive now and it, I can't tell you how easily this Land Rover Defender is making this drive look. It's also a good opportunity for you if you live in the city to get some dust on your Defender and take a little bit of bush credibility back with you when you go back to town. Now back to the serious stuff, this vehicle makes this kind of road look absolutely effortless. It really does and that's part of the point. Land Rover wants to make this kind of drive accessible to more people and the Defender does exactly that. Now I think the best part about this drive is the way that you wind your way down into the valley like we've done. When you get to the bottom, there's some river crossings, a little bit of four-wheel driving, if that's what you want to do. But gee, the view down here is spectacular. You can look back up out of the valley, there's sheer cliffs. And that's part of the reason that it's such an interesting drive because it is quite narrow in parts coming down. You have to be careful. Keep an eye out for the signage that tells you whether the road is open or closed. If they've had a lot of rain, they may have had landslips in here and it's likely that the road will be closed because it does wash across and make it a little bit dangerous. Fortunately for us, the road's open and it is really, really picturesque and pretty down here. Now in the spirit of what we talk about when we talk about great drives and going out there and looking for them, 
it has to be said that even though this one is a little bit off the beaten track, even though it takes a little bit of work to find it and work out exactly where it is, it's absolutely well worth it. This drive wouldn't have been possible just a few short months before we visited. A huge landslip at one end, which we passed on the way down into the valley, isolated one half of the people who live along the road, while a collapse at the other end blocked the road completely. It's a reminder of just how harsh the Australian landscape can be when there's heavy rain. This drive opens up a hidden world that you'd never be able to see if the road hadn't been cut through the challenging terrain. It's a road that changes with the season, the colours of the bush reflecting the time of year and the weather, lush farming land flanked by native trees, jacarandas in bloom and a broad river. The run from bush to the beach is punctuated by amazing views with some of the most picturesque lunch stops and campsites you'll find anywhere in New South Wales. You might be able to get to the coast quicker, but you won't do it with better scenery. Don't go anywhere, cos after the break we hit the beach and find our perfect east coast sunrise. taken the road less travelled, driving from Armadale to the east coast via Kempsey and having plenty of fun along the way in the new Land Rover Defender. What a drive. Australians know, even though those of us from the east coast might not like to admit it, that the best sunsets are over on the west coast. However, the sun rises, well, to get the best ones of those, you've got to come over to this side of the country and head to one of the easternmost points of Australia like we are now. How good is a deserted beach and a sunrise early in the morning when there's no one else to worry about? One night to speed up true, we had a promise made, four hands and then away, both under influence, we had We know that a road trip and a really great road trip is always about the roads, but sometimes it's as much about the destination as it is the road, and of course, there's always a bit of it that's about the vehicle that you're driving. The Land Rover Defender, what an unbelievable vehicle for this kind of road trip, and I think its most important point is the fact that it's just as happy in a five-star hotel valet car park as it is right out here in the wilds of Australia. If you want to follow the wheel tracks of this great drive, head east from Armadale, turn right just after Wollamombi onto the Kempsey Road. Make your way down into the valley through Lower Creek, where we did our four-wheel driving, and not long after, the road switches from Kempsey Road to Armadale Road. Then head through Bellbrook and make your way out through Kempsey to Crescent Head. When it comes to which Land Rover Defender is best, there really is a model to suit almost any lifestyle. Short wheelbase or long, three door or five, Defender buyers have a solid range to choose from. Short wheelbase Defender 90 starts from just over $74,000 before on-road costs, not much more than the top specification Toyota Hilux or Ford Ranger, two of Australia's favourite vehicles. Petrol and diesel engines and a broad array of trim grades means you don't have to have the biggest budget to get into a modern four-wheel drive icon. 
You can read all about the Land Rover Defender and get all the details about our drive from Armadale to the New South Wales coast by scanning the QR code on your screen. And of course, head to drive.com.au. Got any ideas on a great drive or special road that needs to be discovered? Let us know. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube to stay up to date and get some exclusive behind the scenes details and extras. And we'll see you next time for a drive. Next week on the show, we get sporty with some Italian style in the new Maserati MC20. James goes in search for some Italy in Victoria with this Italian supercar. See you next week for a drive.